if you get into ICE, the custody of ICE, you know, in whatever way it could happen, um, unfortunately it does happen. I think the important things to note is like, do not discuss your immigration status with them. Tell them that you want to speak to an attorney. If you don't have a relationship with an attorney or with, with CIIS, you can just ring us anyway, or your local consulate. And I think it's important that, you know, really to stress that you don't need to sign anything. Sometimes people will feel like they're, you know, compelled to sign certain documents, but just don't do that. Get in touch with either your local consulate or an organization like CIIS and try to get legal advice um, as soon as possible. Things are never easy with ICE. And unfortunately, a lot of times people that we see here who are undocumented have overstayed the visa waiver program. So that's where you know you can come visa free from certain countries, Ireland including, and the UK, you know, many countries. And if you're an overstay of a visa waiver country, um, you don't have as many rights as other people if you just came on a J1 and overstayed. So your rights are limited. So you're not gonna get a hearing in front of an immigration judge. You're not gonna get those rights that you would get if you um, were an overstay of a visa. So you've waived those by coming in on the visa waiver program. So that's why it's really important because things can be done really quickly and you know, all of a sudden, you know, you're like on a plane home kind of thing. So that's why just to get that call in and again, maybe there's nothing we can do. Maybe we can't help you from getting deported or removed from the States, but we can at least talk you through the process and be there as a resource to your family. I know nobody knows phone numbers these days because everything's like on speed, speed dial on our phones, but you know, it might not be a bad idea if you were to learn two numbers off. One could be, you know, either your attorney or like an organization like Immigrant Support, CIIS, or, and then also your consulate.